Hello fellas, um, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about this right here. The R6D. This tiny thing. Uh, first of all, let's talk about size. It's about 38 millimeters length. Uh, 16 and 11 around. More or less, 38-ish, 16-ish, and 11-ish. So it's not. Um, it's uh, it weighs around four grams. Okay, four grams for this tiny little thing. So this would be great for all of you. Who are, oh, excuse me, mini quads out there. This is a print, 3D printed one. I'm gonna make some videos about this stuff. I'm finishing. Printing some some mini quads right in there. Um, so let's talk about this. And this gentleman is a six channel uh, six channel uh, receiver. It will do six channels PWM, okay? But it will do ten channels PPM. That's right, you heard me. Ten channels PPM. And whilst doing PPM. 10 channels it will simon simultaneously do uh, let's see one two three four five channels on pwm at the same time so you can actually use uh for, for example let's see and i'm just i'm just going to talk about this because i i'm going to show this later to you guys uh, my gopro won't focus so it has one two three four five six um normal or PWM channels and then you have six seven eight nine and ten um, on PPM what this means is that you uh, this will output on PPM uh, mode it will output PPM 10 channels PPM on channel one but you will still have six as you can see on this side of the of the label okay you will still have six channels six seven eight nine and ten on pwm which is awesome so for example i'm gonna give you the example that i'm gonna use today to show you this is going to be my old kk2 board right here so let's pair this up with this one and and see how it works so as i said uh ppm signal will come out from channel one over here all right so let's plug this up into channel one signal on top uh so black uh, uh red and white w uh, signal being on top okay and let's plug this up to our kk2 board uh kk2 board uh for the kk2s and I'm not going to elaborate on this but KK2s will receive here on the on this channel right here. I think it's one um, our PPM signal. So let's connect it, and also the um, black or ground will be towards the outside of the board. So I'm going to connect it right that right like so. So white on the inside, black on the outside. Okay. And let me power this up. Let me give it power. So let's power this up. Let's assume, for example, that this would be an ESC for you guys for the uh, KK2. Oops, sorry. So let's power it up. There it is. Now let's turn our radio. There we go. And the only way to show you this is if we go to here into the menu of the uh, KK2 board. If you go to receiver test, you can see that I'm going to move our sticks right here. And you can probably see the values throttle are changing. Okay, aileron, left, right. And elevator, forward, back, okay, and rudder, left, and right. 
auxiliary channel it will be on, on channel 5 channel 5 I think I've got it here on the knob because I haven't um, set this up for the KK2 so as you can see off and on and off again hopefully you guys can see this so yeah um, it's working ppm now the neat thing as I said before so it has five channels on ppm and the neat thing neat stuff and obviously you need to think about a way to power this up because the KK2 board will not allow you to power a lot of servos in here because servos will draw a certain amount of uh, amperage and this cable won't be enough to and obviously this this the KK2 won't output the the required amperage on these channels in order for you to uh, connect a lot of servos but I'm gonna connect just at least one for you guys to see what I'm talking about so we have PPM over here until at least till five channels till channel number five it's the one that has the auxiliary over there but if we plug this to channel the, right next to it we've got six on analog so if we go to our uh, radio right here let me see what, what do i have six uh not here not here oh okay here we go channel six and the servo is spinning okay now we can go up to channel seven uh, around here next one will be seven seven i got it right here on this switch so you can see channel seven over there and the servo spins okay channel eight this goes on and on guys up to channel ten Channel, channel 8, where do I have it? Okay, I got 8 and 9 over here. As you can see over there, 8 and 9. Okay. Awesome. Obviously, 9 on the same knob. Okay. And last but not least, we've got 10. I think I've got it around here on one of these switches yeah so 10 and it's doing this simultane simultaneously uh, with PPM so if if you have a, a servo here on channel 10 but for some reason you're actually using ch uh, channel channel 10 the 10th channel or channel 10 on the board on your controller board it will work simult simultaneously will output this PWM and the 10th channel to the, the, the board if it would receive it. So this is awesome. Why? Because if you want to use up to eight channels, for example, on your controller board, you can. And then use 9 and 10 for, I don't know, uh, camera control, uh, LEDs turning off and on, I don't know, all a bunch of stuff. Or, for example, for the KK2, it only utilizes five channels. So you still have one, two, three, four, five, another five that you can use for a whole bunch of stuff. Obviously, you need to, uh, you know, power the, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, power the receiver because of the output voltage, voltage to wherever you're going to connect here. But the, the issue, the question is, the, the, the thing is that this little guy right here is capable of doing this. So, yeah, guys. I wanted to show you guys this thing about the R6D. It will, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, it will um, work as a normal receiver, six channel receiver, but 10 channels on PPM, which is great. Um, it binds the same way. Actually, I'm going to show you that right now. So let me turn off the radio. I'm going to put this in normal mode so the first first time you connect it, it will come like this you just have to press and hold till it starts blinking okay then go to your radio just turn it on and bam it goes to a solid red right there and it's bound so all you need to do is put it on 
double click just like on the R9D to go to PPM you got PPM this won't do S bus okay don't be fooled and here we go and it's on working so yeah fellas I hope this was helpful to you guys this is an awesome awesome receiver for all of you mini quad racers out there and I don't know other applications that you guys could want could want this to okay so again guys thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye bye